Hey, it's Norm from Tested.com. I'm here at the Soma Arts Cultural Center in San Francisco at the annual BarBot event. What are BarBots? They're robo bartenders that will make you drinks. Robotic bartenders like R2-D2 back there. Uh, it's actually run by the same people who did Combots, the BattleBots event we saw last year, and they also do this event. We're gonna go get some drinks, have some robots make you some drinks, and I'm gonna come back and see which one made me the best drink. All right, let's start with something simple. This is Chassis. It's a four or five year old robot made by Al Honig here, and Chassis is a single drink dispenser robot. Tonight, serving bourbon. All right, let's get a drink from Chassis. That's a shot of bourbon. Thank you. All right, so a little more complicated advanced robot. This is the ThinBot built by Kevin Roach. Second year at BarBot, how does the ThinBot here work? Uh, well, ThinBot, which is named in honor of the Thin Man movies, where they run solving murders while drinking martinis all day, uh, uses peristaltic pumps to deliver the uh, ingredients. A lot of the uh, robots here at BarBot use compressed air, and the problem is then you're using a compressible gas to move an incompressible fluid, and your measurements can get off or you can turn off the pump and it keeps flowing because the uh, gas keeps expanding. So I went straight to the source and these are peristaltic pumps. They work by uh, squeezing uh, a flexible tube in two places so it pushes a little bolus of fluid through it and as long as you match the tubing all the way through to the same diameter, it'll hold vacuum. So uh, uh, it'll just keeps pumping until it stops and then it doesn't drip out the bottom anymore. So there are eight ingredients, there are eight pumps, and it's all just based on time. These were built to order pumps, so they deliver exactly 98 milliliters per minute. And so I just put the recipes on an SD card and then tell it how big I want a serving to be. And that's all controlled by a touchscreen Arduino? It's all controlled by uh, this little box, which uh, is an Arduino with a touchscreen shield on it. It's running code that I worked on for a while, and uh, it's very simple. So one of the options, in fact, is to surprise you. It'll pick a drink at random from the recipes it knows. It does give you a chance to change your mind. So why don't we try that and uh, see what comes up. All right, let's see the ThinBot get to work and make me a drink, a surprise drink. I will take that kamikaze. All right, so we say yes. And off we go. So we're uh, running each pump in turn. We start with the largest ingredient. So uh, we use gravity to mix it. Things fall in, the turbulence will help stir it up. And then the smaller ingredients are added once there's some volume in the glass. And then you said for your next revision, for the upgrade, you might actually have some active mixing. Um, I'm hoping actually to narrow the uh, tubing right at the end so it actually jets and we get an active vortex in the glass. All right, let's try this kamikaze. That's pretty good. Thanks a lot, Kevin. You're welcome. All right, let's move to the next robot. All right, I'm here with Fish, and you're the maker of the cocktail engine. You told me this is your first BarBot event. It's the first one for this device. I was here last year with a different device. So tell me, how does the cocktail engine work? Okay. Um, in the base, it's pretty simple. You have drink components up top. They flow just gravity feed through simple ball valves down through a funnel into a cup down below. All right. But the trick is, which ones do you want to? Us. And I, you, you make a variety of drinks. I've yes. chosen a margarita, and yes. the input mechanism is really different because you have to actually hole punch, hole punch cards. Yes, I wanted to get a little bit old school on this, so we're going with punch cards. All right, I've punched one out right here. There's a recipe menu, yes. and this is the configuration for margaritas, and yes. let's, let's input it. Okay, so now that that's been punched, put it in the reader, activate the system, and pull the drink. And there you go. You said this is your first bar bot, so you've been testing this for quite a while? I have not. I finished this Wednesday night. Well, between Wednesday and tonight, I hope you've enjoyed testing its drink making capabilities. <laughs> Let's try this margarita. Please do. That is quite tasty. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you, Fish. Absolutely. All right, so after a couple of cocktails, I could use a break. And fortunately, there was actually not a cocktail robot, but a tea robot. It's a tea engine. Catherine, you're the maker of the tea engine. How does this work? So the tea engine is designed after, um, it was based on a, a coffee percolator from 1924. And I went ahead and sort of hacked into it and made it something more robotically controlled. The interface that you decide your drink upon is, the, is an old rotary phone dial. 
and so you just you get to decide whether you would like plain tea, tea with cream, tea with sugar, or tea with cream and sugar. And is this one type of tea, or can you do any type of tea? Currently, I'm serving Earl Grey tea, but okay. I can brew whatever type of tea I decide to put in the pot. And this is brewed on demand. Um, mostly brewed on demand. I do have to fill the pot, so mm. we get about you know 10 or 12 cups of tea per pot. Well, I would love a cup of tea from the tea engine. Absolutely. That is a good cup of tea. Thank you, Catherine. You're most welcome. Now I'm ready for more cocktails. All right, back to the alcohol, and what a way to go with the Cosmobot. Samuel, you're the maker of the Cosmobot. Tell me about how it works. Yes, my name is Spaceman Sam, and I'm an intergalactic explorer. This is the Cosmobot that helps us keep us properly inebriated during our long distance travels. Very, very necessary. Very necessary. 501 days to Mars, that's what I was told they were gonna do in the next trip. What are you going to do during that very long trip? Might as well have a cocktail. Absolutely, so what can the Cosmobot do? So, over here, the Cosmobot is a rocket ship and a robot that will help us launch to the moon or Mars in style. So what we do here is that we will launch either one of three drinks, a Cosmopolitan, a Cape Cod, or a Kamikaze. Well, it's named the Cosmobot, so I would love a Cosmopolitan. Can Excellent. you accommodate? So since we have a 1950s style technology going on here, we have real life buttons and controls right here. So look down here at the bottom. So you can actually choose between your drinks, Cosmopolitan, Cape Cod, or Kamikaze. You choose your drink, and then you push the big red shiny button. I love pushing big red, big red shiny buttons. So we are ready to launch, so go ahead and push the big red shiny button. Now we go up to the very top of the rocket ship. We have a pressurization sequence going on. Just like real rocket engines, they have pressurization. So we're pressurizing all of the ingredients. And now we're dispensing vodka. Repressurizing, and then we'll have a triple sec, launching triple sec right now and then cranberry, and then a little bit of lime. And down here, and bring the cameras really close. Take a close look at this area right here. This is called the chill tank. And in the chill tank, we have our secret ingredient, dry ice. Gotta have dry ice when you're in space. Absolutely. Take a look at this. It looks like it's about ready to take off here. So we chill the drink without diluting it because dry ice is just frozen carbon dioxide. And now we have liftoff. We have liftoff of a cosmic cocktail. There we go. That is splendid. Yes. Now wait, it kind of, could be dangerous, so we have to wait until the lights turn off and the launch is done, and then you can safely pick up your drink. It is now safe to pick up your drink. Go ahead. Cheers. To space. Space and beyond. And beyond. Very good. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Spaceman Sam. Enjoy. From space to steampunk, I'm here with Bill, the maker of the Elixirator. This is a steampunk robot, and it looks incredible. What can it make? It can make 10 different drinks. I have four different ingredients. I have uh, three spirits and one mixer. And how does it work? And what I have, I have four, inside four different bottles, uh, the different ingredients, and I have a, a, big, a big microprocessor program to uh, turn on solenoid valves. Inside the bottles are pressurized with a few pounds of pressure and the computer will select the timing on these bottles to make the drink. All right, can you give us a demonstration? Sure, I can. So inside, we have the bottles, a little pump. In the back, you can't see it, but there's a little computer chip. And to select a drink, I have a Nixie tube readout, which they don't make anymore. And so you select a drink, say like on uh, my menu, I have a number four. So we'll select number four. Then a little ice in a glass, because nobody wants a warm drink. Put that in there. Push the go button. And these ingredients will then are dispensed in the glass. So I have a little meter here, it says tritium on there. So the idea was that um, I'm Doc Hadikoff from the future, has gone back in time, and to make a living, I make like a machine that makes like uh, snake oil. And so this is uh, a machine powered by tritium, 
which was in my time machine and I can't operate it anymore now. So I made this machine. <laughs> awesome, and you've made us a martini. Yeah, that's right. That's a Parma martini. All right, time to try it out. That's a pretty good martini. Thanks a lot, Bill. Okay. Hey, R2. What's that? No, we're not in Java's palace. What have they done to you? Oh, R2. Never leave an unfinished drink on the table. Let's move on. Okay, so I'm here with Aaron of Bartendro, and this is interesting because it's actually a Kickstarter project. It is a Kickstarter project. That you guys launched today. Today, we just hit go this morning. So tell me how Bartendro works. Okay, so Bartendro is a cocktail dispensing robot. It dispenses precision cocktails, accurate every time. It's got these peristaltic pumps up here, so none of the liquid ever touches any moving parts. Completely sanitary. Each of the pumps has magnets in it, and then it has a board, an Arduino-like board on the back, which has magnetic sensors in it, which detects each revolution of the pump. So we're able to go sub-milliliter accuracy on it. Each of those are connected to a mini router board and a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi then broadcasts a Wi-Fi network. So all you do is you take your smartphone or your tablet, you log into the bartender network, and bartender really wants to get you drunk, so it'll just won't let you go to any other website. You just open your web browser and it'll only bring you to this menu screen here. Um, the menu screen has an admin feature on it where you can add all of your boozes or your mixers or if you don't want to drink liquor and you want to do a juice bot, you could just put juices in there and have it just dispense that way. Um, the admin screen, you just hook up to each one. You say, I've got Midori in pump one, I've got milk in pump two. Once you add all those in there, it will display all the drinks that are possible with that combination of alcohols. I can make my drink stronger, weaker, sweeter, taller, bigger, smaller. Each person can tailor it, and it's going to be exactly the same every single time. All right, so that looks good. Lemon drop. Let's yeah. make one that's uh, normal strength and yeah. see that work. And anyone connected to the bartender on the Wi-Fi network can access this drink menu and make a drink. You sure can. So normally at parties, you can pour from your phone. Um, here we have it set up so that you cannot because you need drink tickets, but um, otherwise you can just order from your couch. You can do whatever you want. Um, it's really easy and convenient. Um, normally there's also at home a taster button. So say you see something on the menu but you're not sure if you'd like it or not, since everything is proportional, you can get a one ounce taster and it's the exact same cocktail as if you were pouring five ounces. Very cool. So let's give this lemon drop here a test. Yeah. That's pretty good. good. Thank you so much, Erin. You're welcome. Thank you. And where can people find out more about the bartender? Yeah, so you can go to our website. Uh, it's www.partyrobotics.com. Um, and it has links to the Kickstarter right on there. Um, or you can find us on Kickstarter as well under the bartender name. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me about the Fez. Yeah, that one. Hello? One more. Let's do one more. All right, one more drink, and I'm here with Alex. And this shake robot here that you guys have made is really interesting because it's the only robot that I've seen so far that actually mixes the drinks by shaking it. How does it work? Right, so the, it, it started with the idea of actually using a paint mixer that shakes paint cans. And when we started looking into those, they're really violent and have a really large volume. And actually, on eBay, I found this drink mixer that was a briefly made and then went out of business and, and so, but I found one still around. And then the trick was making something that could actually feed into it, get the drink into the shaker, and then chilled back out of it. Uh, and we found these beautiful little cherubs to pee your drink <laughs> into the mix. And then the actual mix is done by a mechanical computer instead of all these newfangled digital things. It's actually a, a cam that turns a circle in one minute 
and it turns on each switch to give you the ratio of your drink. So this one makes a Manhattan, which is two parts bourbon, one part vermouth, and then another part, and then usually two shakes of bitters, but also you usually, when you shake that with ice, you get about one part water in your dilution. So we add that dilution in, and we chill it without any water at all. So if I press this big red button, it's gonna start up here by pouring bourbon, then vermouth, then bitters with the uh, dilution water. And, and you said it can make any drink with three ingredients. Yeah, this could, this could effectively make any drink with three ingredients. We have it set up for Manhattans right now. And we'd have to change this cam for different ones. But So that was bourbon. This is vermouth. It's a mixture of dry and sweet vermouth. It's going to start mixing now. But we'll also get our bitters mixture coming in shortly. There it is. And there you go, it's actually shaking. So what's inside that container right there? So that's the whole Manhattan in there as well as some uh, liquid activated LED ice cubes. And then it goes through the chiller, which is a stainless coil of, uh, of metal tube surrounded in ice. And then here we'll have a Manhattan and in just a moment it'll stop. And there it goes. Here's a four ounce Manhattan. And there you go. All right, let's check Cheers. this out. <laughs> oh, that's quite good. Glad you like it. All right, thank you so much, Alex. Thank you. All right, so that's 2013 Barbot, and seven drinks later, well, one of them was tea, I guess. Here I am. You'll find more photos and interviews of the makers of the Barbot robots, robo bartenders, on tested.com. I'm Norm. I'll see you guys next time. Yummy. <laughs>